Welcome back to our EQ Lighting Application Suite video series. We've seen in one of the previous videos how to work with cues and with cue lists. And in this case, we have a list of cues in a cue list, which is then played automatically with certain fade in, fade out, and control delay times. If you don't like to work with cues and cue lists, but with timelines, then the sequencer is your tool. So let's close our preview and stop our cue list to have a look at the sequencer. The sequencer is called by this picture symbol up here. And so I get the sequencer window. And I can now create three types of sequences. I can add a standard sequence, a media sequence, and an Emotion FX sequence. The Emotion FX sequence will be explained in a later video because it is uh, more complex to display. Let's begin with a standard sequence. If I create it, I get a name, and I can select how long this sequence will take. And I select five minutes. So now I get my sequence up here and in this sequence I have a, an action track where I can place actions and these actions are listed in this window here and from the complete list of actions I could for example start a queue list at a given time and you can see here the properties of this action so this could be our queue list three, play this cue list, and I could define a very exact time in the timeline when the cue list will be started. One of the possibilities is I could send a MIDI control change message on channel one, controller three, and a value of 10. So when playing the sequence and the timeline reaches the exact time value, then this action will get executed. You can add more and more tracks, for example, additional action tracks to handle your sequence. So this is a standard sequence. Let's have a closer look at the other sequence type, which is a media sequence. The other sequence type in the sequencer is a media sequence. And in this case, the base for the timeline is not just time, but it is a media file. You can select, for example, a video as the basis of the of the sequence so now we have a video as the underlying time zone um, let's start the media sequence media player one to see what happens and if i now press play then you see that the video will be played in the media player number one as defined. So when the video ends then the whole sequence and if I want to repeat this I just click on repeat and then the video will be played forever. You can now relate it to this video again place actions. For example well well let's let's take a cue list most simple here. I can now play and then at the given timestamp start a queue list or stop a queue list. You could even combine the two media players in the sequencer, for example, now create a new sequence and the second sequence and now you can select the media player 2 as the, 
target. Or we'll take another video. And now, if we take the media player too, make it a little bit smaller so we can see both. You now play. Hmm. Well, let's close it then you can see here. This is one video playing and this is the other. And the key is in the two sequences you can place actions from the selection to the action track and in this way control the timing of your sequence. <laughs>